Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is a Wednesday, and the last two Wednesdays in FIFA 22, we have had incredible content. The question is, is that going to continue today? Last week, we had the 93 plus tots shapeshifter player pick that we were able to end up doing two different times over the course of the five day period that it was released. Today, we're asking ourselves the same question. Is EA going to re-release that SBC or give us another sort of player pick or pack that would make for an incredibly hype Wednesday on FIFA. As, like I said, it's been two weeks in a row. Go all the way back to ultimate team of the season where we had the 94 plus TOTS player pick and the 93 plus E-Fix pack released on that Wednesday. Last week with a 93 plus TOTS and Shapeshifter player pick. Is that SBC going to return or are they going to drop an even better player pick today on this game and also I want to talk about this Jamie Vardy SBC and another shapeshifter leak because it seems like EA is kind of pushing us towards Premier League cards and some Premier League squads in this game at the moment with the content and leaked content that we have to come in shapeshifters so I want to talk about all of that talk about SBC fodder the shapeshifters cards that actually just continue to slide up and the market as a whole just continues to rise up just a little bit because the content this week has been a little bit lackluster compared to last week. We'll talk about yesterday's SBCs and everything else going on in this game at the moment. So if you're excited for hopefully a big Wednesday today on FIFA, hit the thumbs up and of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's start off by talking about the potential for today. Of course, you guys remember this one last week, the 93 plus tots and shapeshifter player pick. Now, one thing that's been interesting the past two weeks that we've had insane Wednesday content, right? Both of the SBCs released have been about 300,000 coins in value. Last week, the 93 plus tots was 329,000 coins. We go back just a week before that to the 94 plus tots player pick. That was also right around 300,000 coins. Now, the difference is fodder at this moment is up higher than where it was each of those past two weeks. So what is an SBC going to come out with today that would be around 300,000 coins, but still like upping the ante, right? A 94 plus tots pack is pretty good. A 93 plus shapeshifters and tots player pick is even better. How are they going to one up that today on this game? Or will they honestly just say, maybe this week we're going to keep it a slower week. I think there's even a potential of that. I, I want to get excited for a Wednesday today. I want to get some really hype content, a big player pick or something like that. But there is a small bit of potential that they could just say, nah, we're not going to drop um, a huge amount of content today on Wednesday and just keep it pretty pretty low key like this a lot of this week has been maybe they want us to focus more on the summer swaps objectives getting these games done um and, and stuff like that maybe that's what their goal is this week i don't know i have a lot of hope though that since it's been two weeks in a row of a really good SBC on a wednesday i hope that trend continues today now also yesterday this is this helps our idea that there might be some re-releasing of SBCs because we had the year in review player pick re-released yesterday on this game. We could do it two times um, and a lot of people did it. I'm sure you guys were doing this SBC and it's actually impacted fodder a lot. If you take a look at fodder at the moment, it is up big. And even though this SBC last week had a 50-50 uh, upvote to downvote rating. This week, it's got a 17% upvote and an 83% downvote. Now, I do believe that it might be a little bit cheaper. We had the year in review last week. It was 119,000 coins and it's 93K this week. So it's maybe a little bit cheaper, which helps. But I think people after last week uh, remembered that the pack pulls were not that great. I don't think this value for this year in review player pick is very good, but I'll tell you one thing. Since it is different, and since the casuals love just the idea, and I think a lot of people on this game, not even just casuals, th since this is just a different idea of being able to pack SBC players in a player pick, it booms fodder every single time. I mean, look at the 86 rated cards in this game. Remember when Scrinny R, I mean, we looked at this on the stream yesterday, right? Scrinny R has been our 86 rated card we've been looking at. Monday, this dude was 14K. Yesterday, on Tuesday, this guy goes up to 14K still, has a little bit of a peak here at 16. The year in review player pick comes out, bang, 19K like that. It's crazy. 
It is crazy that this stuff just bounces like that for a year in review player pick that at this stage of the game is fun. But the reason I think it goes up that much though is because this player pick is only 93K and that's not that expensive. A lot of people can go out and do that with maybe one or two high rated cards, fill in some 84s, 85s, and a couple 86s. And that is why you see fodder going up as much as it is right now. 84s are about to be 6,000 coins a piece every single week. This is why EA had to update price ranges on cards last week. Each and every single week, these fodder cards just continue to move a little bit higher every week because the, the content continues to roll out and people's clubs continue to get thinner and thinner and thinner and the supply is getting less and less and less because we haven't had one of those big promos where people are either opening a lot of 82 times 25s we haven't had the rewards yet dropped for summer swaps uh we haven't had like a huge friday of like saved up packs or a preview pack or some sort of token pack in the store where people have been going and opening a ton of packs to supply the market with tradable cards in that way either. So the, the, the supply on fodder just kind of slowly dwindles over time. And we're just at one of those points now where fodder just continues to go higher. And an SBC like this is definitely helping that out. Now, also, you could think about it this way. For the potential of a 93 plus tots or shapeshifter player pick today, since hotter, fodder is so high up, that could also be maybe, if you think about it, EA not wanting fodder to go up that much more. And maybe they would, you know, forego releasing a hype SBC today because they're like, man, fodder is pretty high. Do we really want to see it keep going? That could be also part of the thought process. But Hey, it's freaking July, basically. Give us a hype SBC today, EA Sports. And, you know, I hope they do it, 93 plus or whatever it's going to be, something insane. Fodder's probably going to go up even a little bit more. So if you have invested in this stuff, if you still have these cards, it, they might not be done quite yet. I would hold on to these a little bit more today because they could still go up today on Wednesday, tomorrow on Thursday. So that's kind of my thoughts with the SBC fodder market and today's content. If we get another big player pick or something along those lines. I think there's potential for it. So that's kind of what I'm hoping. I'm hoping we get a big player pick today. I know you guys are as well. Um, you know, if you're like Nate, I don't have that much fodder. My club is freaking bare. I got nothing to do with this. You know, if you have a little bit of coins left, the 82 plus player picks yesterday were pretty good for me. They were pretty good. Um, you know, I did end up packing uh, Jesus Corona, Tecatito, the shapeshifter player. I packed two Arnautovic uh, shapeshifters as well. A decent amount of, you know, higher rated fodder. So these are not insane, but they still give out decent fodder. And they're they're kind of cheap to do, right? Footman has them uh, at 9,000 coins a piece. I bet if you really wanted to sweat it out, you could probably get these done at 8,000 coins a piece, which isn't terrible because right now with... 84s being 6k as long as you're getting like an 85 plus you're making your money back on the card from this player pick now not every single one of these gives you an 85 plus card but a lot of times if you you have at least okay pack luck you do a set of three you're going to get one walkout in almost every set of three that's from my experience maybe not some of your guys's but that's just something you could be doing on the menus right now to try to stock up on some of that fodder if you have a few coins left maybe if you have a club full of non-rares or rares or whatever that may be. So that's kind of the SBC menu uh, chat for the moment. I hope it's a big day today. Again, I can't just say that enough. We need a big day. This week has been a little bit slower, I think, for most people, SBC wise. We need a big day today. We need it. Come on, EA Sports, do the business. Now, what else I want to talk about today is EA is kind of pushing us subliminally. They do this all the time. They've done this all year this year. They've done it last year, but it's really obvious right now because they're really starting to push us to Premier League squads because we have had, yes, some really good Serie A content in the past week, week and a half, right? The Insigne, the Lozano, the Chiellini, all that sort of stuff has been great Serie A content. A lot of those Serie A cards went up in price. Think about Spinazzola when his Shapeshifter card went up after the Insigne went out, right? Well, now we're getting a little bit of a transition into some Premier League hype. Think about the cards we have had released as SBCs recently. We have had Fernandinho. We have had Richarlison. Yesterday, we had Jamie Vardy as a left wing player. Now, this is quite the interesting card, and we'll continue on that train of thought in just a second, but I want to cover this card. 99 finishing, 99 shot power, 99 composure. This is just like a clinical pure finisher. I still think I would play him as a striker in the game. He didn't get the five-star skills, and you might look at this and be like, Nate, I think there's not a lot of hype for this card, but 
there is hype for this card for people on this game because Jamie Vardy is, yes, English. And whenever they drop an English SBC, since the most, you know, especially for a lot of casuals in this game, they see an English player, they see a Premier League player with a guy with the stature of Vardy. And I even think that this, I actually, never mind, the, uh, the special message in this game, the description of this SBC says that this relates to his famous 5-3 comeback against Man United in the 2014-2015 Premier League season. So not 2016, but... Um, you know, English striker, people know Jamie Vardy, 1300 upvotes, 580 downvotes. This is definitely not a bad card, but it just gets a little bit of extra love because it's an English player. That's just the way that it is. And there's nothing wrong with that. I know a lot of us were on the stream yesterday. We're looking at this Vardy card and like, nah, it doesn't really hit us that good. Like it doesn't make you want to go out and do the SBC right away. But for a lot of people, it must have, because take a look at him and son. 380,000 coins all the way down to 300k flat slowly rebounding a little bit you know this is a great example of a card that you know uh, you like think about the um Akin Fenua or some other English special cards that we have had throughout the year the biggest um thing that you can learn from this SBC and you're, you're probably going to learn this in the future as well is every time they drop an English SBC it's going to have some level of hype. Even if it's overpriced, there's going to be people that want to do it just because English brings the hype. And I can't lie, that's that's how it is. That's just the way that it is on this game. And there's more English hype coming because of a leak that we got yesterday as well. So this is not ending. And back onto the trend about EA pushing us to use Premier League squads, it's going to continue because we have still a couple more leaks related to Premier League related cards coming during shapeshifters. This is the new one. A flashback Trent Alexander Arnold shapeshifter card. He had a shapeshifter from the original promo in FIFA 20. It was way worse than this card, but the power curve is where it is this year in FIFA 22. You know, Trent has a TOTS card. It's a very good item. I'm kind of stoked for this. This is going to be a card that a lot of people will want to use. Now, again, you look at this and you're like, oh my goodness, this card's going to be cracked. Remember, stats predicted, not confirmed. But this card does look cracked. You're not wrong. And this will be an item that so many people will want to use. And it won't be that hard for them to put in their teams because like I mentioned, the other Premier League SBCs that we have had recently, green link to the Jamie Vardy that has just been dropped, right? The Fernandinho, you're going to get some, imagine a Fernandinho and Trent Alexander-Arnold midfield. There'd be a lot of hype with that. We just had a Grealish card, English links, very good card there as well. We have an Ole that is still leaked. You guys remember that we looked at yesterday, right? Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, but getting, getting a shapeshifter uh, heroes upgrade at some point in the next few days. So there's a lot of hype here with the Premier League cards. Now you're like, Nate, how is the market going to move because of this? What I would expect to see because of a Trent Alexander-Arnold would be Premier League midfielders probably taking a hit and probably midfielders across the whole entire game would take a little bit of hit from this, but specifically Premier League midfielders. And we saw this happen earlier in the week or last week uh, with the Fernandinho, but you know, maybe guys like a Bernardo Silva, he's, he's a bit on the cheaper edge here, but maybe a guy like a KDB, um, maybe not even team of the season cards for some of these, some of these, but like shapeshifter team one, what's a, what's a midfielder that would be in the Premier League that would be a good example of this? Um, I think I, maybe even team of the year Conte again, like I was kind of up in arms over the weekend with team of the year Conte being down, uh, because of the SBC for Fernandinho, which of course he has now bounced back to almost 1.2 mil as he should be, in my opinion, the best box to box or CDM in the game. But a card like this, probably going to drop whenever they drop the Trent Alexander Arnold, because most likely this is not going to be a 1.2 million coin SBC. It's probably going to be like four to 500 K if the stats are good. And there's going to be a lot of hype for it. So that's just one thing to think about right now with kind of EA pushing the Premier League content. Could you make some coins off of this or could you just prepare early? You know, I think there's absolutely probabilities and opportunities to do that. Let's think about the English links, right? One guy that my mind goes to right away is Rio. And it just, this is, I know you're like, Nate, this is like July. Why are we talking about trading and, and potentially making coins here? But this is just good knowledge in general for all year round in FIFA. If you know, when we have a leak for a card like this going to be dropping, Think about what kind of stuff people are going to link to those SBCs and what stuff is going to rise because of it as people go out and build teams and buy players to get chemistry links and squads. You know, 
like we've had recently, we've had a Fernandinho midfielder. We're getting another midfielder with Trent. So I would really not look at other midfielders for that big of a rise. We have had a left wing in Jamie Vardy. So I'd be careful with a guy like a Hyunmin Son. We have not had a right wing Premier League player. We've had a striker in Richarlison, but not very many. We haven't had a left back or a right back or specifically here, a center back. And the one that I feel the most strongly about would probably be a center back. Um, you know, some of your center backs from the Premier League, especially those with English links, could be cards that would be rising soon. Or maybe some of your right backs, maybe some of your left backs. I know there's already cards that are starting to rise. Now, people were buying up, I think, Kyle Walker wrote to the final because they thought Vardy was going to be a right wing. And where's the card at? How much is this dude? Because he was like 250. He's 266. That's the only one to 290. Are you serious? There's a 266. Why not, man? Why not? It's July. I'm gonna I'm gonna buy this Kyle Walker and list him for for 290. Why not make a little bit of change here? Because that's a really easy flip and it's an English card. So that type of thing right there, you might see this guy continue to rise up a little bit more if we get all these Premier League SBCs and people start to transition towards building Premier League squads. Just kind of remember that rarity is the key with a lot of this stuff. Think about recency bias is absolutely in effect here. So like even a guy like Tierney, people might want to put Tierney in their team. Uh, the Jack Grealish is a great example, an out-of-pack card from a previous promo that is a, a very recent promo. This could be a card that rises up even more. Now, I don't really want to invest in him right now after he's already gone up 100,000 coins from where he was. But think about some of your English links. Think about some of your English links that haven't had SBC cards or objective cards recently that people could have in their teams. Positions that are not covered with brand new content. Those are some of the Premier League links that could go up a little bit in the in the coming days if we get really good value Trent Alexander and Ole SBCs because people are now using Vardy. People are maybe now using Richarlison a little bit. People are using Fernandinho. So some of those Premier League links are starting to look pretty good. So Maybe maybe start to prepare early if you want to build out some of your teams around these cards. Prepare ahead of time. Uh, of course, it's at your own risk because you never know what EA is going to drop. And if they drop insane content today, might bring some potential for some other prices to drop as people sell cards to go and get a big SPC done. But that's just kind of what I want to talk about there with those sort of things uh, related to Premier League cards on the market. Now, also, we don't have any leaks yet for Shapeshifters Team 3 or what is coming next after this Friday when Shapeshifters Teams 2 ends. That's another part of stuff that we're going to have to keep our eye on this week. Like I said, we don't have any leaks at the moment. Uh, I know it's Wednesday and it's not super far into the week where we like always have leaks for this kind of stuff. Uh, but it's just something to kind of keep in mind that, you know, it, it's been a kind of a quiet -er week. Is EA going to come back with something insane this Friday, or are they going to let it fizzle down still even more a little bit? Who knows? Now, I will say today is Wednesday, right? And for a lot of you guys, it's, uh, it's a day where you know we're expecting big content, and that potentially could mean price drops on some of these shapeshifter cards that are in packs. This happened last week, but as of right now, I mean, take a look at these prices. Ronaldo is up. Marcelo is chilling. Ramos is up big. Uh, Corona is up like 50K. He was 230 yesterday. Right now he's 280. I would sell that if I'm b being honest. Um, some of these cards are probably going to drop off a little bit more today if we have good content. I also expect lightning rounds, right? Wednesdays or lightning round days. I would expect some, some lightning rounds around content and maybe even later in the evening. That's been a pretty consistent theme on Wednesdays, right? People call it D-Gen Wednesday now because they open packs with coins if they have a lot of coins myself included. It's kind of a fun thing because we know EA has been dropping lightning rounds on Wednesdays uh, and those are kind of fun to do. So if we get good content today and if we get lightning rounds, you might see a few drops on some of these shapeshifter cards and it might potentially open up a buying window depending on how the rest of this week goes and depending on how the leaks look as well for what's coming in this weekend of content on that game so or on this game so that's one thing that i would keep a close eye on at the moment related to these shapeshifter cards i mean i can't believe that ramos is 1.9 mil it's really just off of rarity this guy was 1.6 and i think 1.9 is really really rare some of these guys might hit a peak like 1.9 is probably going to be a peak for him unless content is dead today um and i just think the rarity is starting to show with these cards because they one page on the market yeah man the rarity is absolutely starting to show because people want to go out and try cards 
and they're not getting supply, supplied right now because you know EA's not running lightning rounds or anything like that. So these guys are just getting mad rare. So GG's if you're making coins off these, the fluctuations are fantastic. But if you're wanting to buy any for your team or you know even for like a short term hold and just to try out, hopefully we get some price drops today because I know there's plenty of you guys uh, that want to get your hands on some of these players. Uh, and if you're not, if you're just like Nate, I'm here chilling. Um, oh my goodness, what just happened to Timo Werner? He was 820, now he's 860. Man, these cards are so rare. It is crazy. It is crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy. Hopefully, and I'm hoping for this, that they drop a little bit today because that would make me want to go try a few of them out. Like, I still didn't try out Adama, and now he's like 600,000 coins after being 500k on uh, Sunday night, Monday morning. So hopefully we see a few more drops on those cards today. Fodder though is going the other way. And if we get good content today, it's going to go even higher and the rest of the market's going to react to that. So we're just kind of sitting back and watching and waiting to see what happens today on Wednesday in FIFA 22. Make sure you're keeping up with the shapeshifters or the summer swaps tokens. We have got the challenge six, which ends today. I need to do this. Um, we have 13 tokens available now after they dropped one token yesterday. We'll see if they drop any more today. Uh, but since we had eight dropped, what was it on Monday? We're way ahead of the game now. So uh, we're still over a week away from when we actually can redeem these tokens. So if you're wondering like, Nate, why can't I turn in my tokens yet? Those rewards are not out yet, but hopefully they will be, or they will be pretty soon. Hopefully EA give us like 30 tokens by July 8th. That would make it very nice for us guys that are trying to grind and, and get stuff done. So that's the video for me today, boys. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you are new. It has been Nate the Photo Count, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.